Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Morning Vodcast podcast. Out of all the sauces, tomato is my favorite. Good morning, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Um, first, let me apologize for not doing the Solar Flare challenge this morning. Um, I'm on what's called, or I like to call, the no food diet, and I try to eat as absolutely little as possible and just stay alive. I know, I know a lot of you are going, what, 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 don't do that, that's stupid. It works for me, it always has. Whenever I need to lose weight, I don't get sick from it. Maybe a little tired here and there, but. Um, my stomach is almost always so empty that I'm a little nervous about eating that this morning. I, I want to film it in the afternoon, but I have plans this afternoon, so I, I can't do that. So instead, I thought we would open a package that I received from Amazon. This is some. This is uh, one that I ordered for myself. This is not from our producer slash producer, Rick, um, which I feel really bummed out that I can't do that today, but it's going to have to wait. <laughs> or I'm going to run into some serious problems. I watched a video on it before I uh, made the decision. <laughs> and after uh, I watched the video, where are my knives? See, I don't have pants on right now, so I'm going to go with this knife. This is the unboxing knife anyway, so I don't know why I was going for my other knife. Hmm. Usually goes right through. That makes me so sad. This, this is, uh, an, <laughs> speaking of heat, last year, if you check out this card over here, you'll see where I did th this challenge. Um, and here's the one for 2021. It's the Pocky One Ship Challenge again. I don't honestly know that I'm going to eat this to be completely truthful with you. On my honor, I don't know that I will be eating this. The thing is that after they're gone, they're gone for the year, and then they skyrocket in price, and you can't get your hands on them. So I figured I would order mine now in case I just so happen to decide to do it. Uh, but this is some serious shit. Like when you're only getting one chip in a package, like with the solar flares, you know, it's five levels of heat. And from what I understand, the first two, maybe even three are okay. You can, you know, you can survive. They're not, if, if you, if you do the whole heat thing, then you, you know what to expect. But that Pocky One Ship Challenge, they have a whole year to formulate that powder that they put on the chip. And I've heard this year it is just dosed in it. It's just a red chip. Last year, I think it was a black chip. I don't remember. Anywho, um, I want to apologize for not being around much this week. I don't know if I'm going to be around much next week as well. I, I plan on doing the, the uh, solar flare challenge. But beyond that, um, I'm taking a little breather. I was just uh, trying to catch up on stuff around the house and trying to do a few other things, especially with High From Space. High From Space is... Um, uh, it's coming along nicely. There's, like, yeah, there's four episodes completely edited, and three more filmed already. So, don't look now, but there's a bag on my chair. I didn't realize it landed there when I hucked it. Usually, I huck it and it goes flying. Usually, when I cut it, it comes open. So, Lynchburg is now the third lowest vaccinated city or county in uh, all of Virginia. Uh, the hospital, which is, I don't know, maybe a 10-minute walk from my house, maybe a five. Depends how fast you're walking, I suppose. Uh, they've got over 100 patients now, and they've got 20 people in the ICUs, and 18 of them are on ventilators. And our public schools are still open. And we're having rock festivals. We're having, what is it this week, the Beer, Wine, and Cider Fest or something like that. This is goddamn lame. This is the lamest vodcast podcast I've ever done. Let's find something online to talk about. What do you want to talk about? I got an idea. Let's look up jokes. I'll tell you some jokes. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Because every play has to have a cast. <laughs> Two artists had an art contest. It ended in a draw. I feel like Stephen Wright <laughs> saying it like that. Um, why couldn't the pony sing a lullaby? She was a little horse. Now, that's not true, actually. Ponies will never become horses. If you didn't know this, look it up. Um, I didn't know it up until I was about 16 or 17 years old, maybe 18, I don't know. Uh, and I knew someone who had a horse. And when I referred to it as a pony, when it was a pony, and they corrected me quickly saying, uh, a 
pony will never become a horse. Don't you love people who have legitimate facts and they just, they can't wait in a conversation to throw it in your face? That's my favorite. We only use 10% of our brain. You know, actually, we use all of our brain. We just don't use it all at the same time. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? A stick. Yeah, that, that's an oldie, but a goodie. I have a fear of speed bumps, but I'm slowly getting over it. All right, those are all the jokes you get. My friend Jess sent me a picture of um, Fireball is releasing a hundred shot giant mammoth <laughs> bottle. Or, I, don't, I don't know what it was. It's maybe it was a can. It comes with little shots. I don't know what it was. But I thought, wouldn't that be a fun challenge? <laughs> Go head to head with somebody on shots of uh, the old Fireball. Ye old Fireball, as they called it back in medieval and the dark ages and medieval times times when things were more medieval than they are now midi evil midi see here's my recommendation of the week um ted lasso uh my wife and i powered through the first season not realizing that there wasn't another season until this year and um we're obviously all caught up on that but man that show makes me feel happy that show always leaves a smile on my face and uh so if you like smiling and, and laughter uh, and comedy, and, and uh, some real feels, you should check out Ted Lazo. Sadly, we must say goodbye to Norm MacDonald this week. Um, died 61 of cancer. That's so young. Uh, that, that is, uh, you know, the older I get, the younger, you know, uh, older ages feel. Because, I don't know, maybe you get closer to them, or I, I can't quite explain it. But nonetheless, uh, Norm MacDonald, uh, funny, funny guy. Um, his, his stuff on Saturday Night Live always cracked me up when he played Burt Reynolds, um, on the Celebrity Jeopardy. But after Saturday Night Live, I was not a big fan of most of the rest of his career. Um, which seems like a real downer to say to somebody that just died a few days ago. But, um, nonetheless, I mean, that, that, you know, we lose people every day. It doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or non-celebrity, people die. That's what happens in the world. Someday I'll die. Someday you'll die. Who do you think's going to die first? Spoiler alert, it's probably going to be me. Well, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make someone smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Podcast Podcast. Take care. <laughs>